Hey guys, it's Mia. So I was in LA about a week ago and I met with the people at YouTube and they thought that I should start doing different kinds of videos. Well, I have a show in Nashville, so I thought that I would show you kind of how I get ready for shows. If you've seen my other videos, you've probably seen this kick pedal. I usually use it with my electronic set, but I'm taking it with me. This is my cajon. It's kind of heavy, but. This is the monitor that connects my cajon. This holds all my extra percussion stuff like shakers and all my chords. I play bass as well. So this is a fifth item that's not always there. So why is it important to count the items? What, what problems have we run into occasionally? Um, you know, sometimes we get to a point where we forget something. Um, like what? Like a kick pedal. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's been really efficient counting all these pieces. And also, I forgot to mention, I carry two of these. Why is that? Because if one of them, you know, is doing a weird like click sound or something goes wrong, and they also have a different bottom for like different type of stages. And the sixth thing is obviously wardrobe and makeup. Because I can't wear frumpy clothes on stage. So we are currently going to the listening room to see a group called the Song Suffragettes. And it's an all girl thing and I think it would be awesome if I could get a gig with them. We're here. This is so cool. For this show, I'm playing with a country singer named Bailey James, she's amazing, and we got a set list before the show, which is not always the case, so that's really helpful. Um, and then usually I play the songs that I'm not super comfortable with or that I just need work on before the show, so I can work on, I sing backups for her, so I can work on that and warm up my voice. I love having a set list, um, because one time, I got 14 songs to learn in two days to play at a show um, for two artists and we played like eight of those songs and we still played songs that weren't even sent to me which is really scary and nerve-wracking but it went fine and yeah it's it's fun to do random songs that I don't know but I'm trying to make songs sound better and if I mess it up then that's just not what my job is. So usually when I play for artists, it's it's for like writer's rounds. So usually we play all originals, which is what I prefer. But this night is kind of different because we're playing um, with only two artists. I'm only playing with one of them, but there's only two. So we're playing six songs. Three of them are originals and three of them are covers. Another thing I did today was get my school schedule. Um, we start school on Friday, not looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing all my friends, but I'm not looking forward to homework, tests, quizzes, pop quizzes, assignments, essays, waking, yeah, waking up early, you know, less music time. Um, yeah gonna be great. And what do you gotta remember to do before the gig? The girls gotta eat. My show's real soon. Gotta get there early to set up. So I'm trying to rush here. Before shows, if I'm feeling a little nervous, I like to hide myself up. I leave the packs on my backs to them. Yup, the queen's back, what's happening? Rerun, about to make these bitches rap again. <laughs> Diamond chains on my egg doll. Egg doll. Young money in the- Is this the right place? Yes.
And that's how I set up my cup. So, Mia, how was it? It was good, really good, yeah. Yeah? Cool show? Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> so, that was a pretty typical writer's round on a Monday night. Um, if you guys like this video, let me know and maybe I'll make more like it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>